For our 250th issue of Computer Music Magazine, we've teamed up with music software giants Cakewalk to bring you an incredible giveaway for PC users. The full version of Sonar Home Studio, worth $49. Sonar Home Studio is PC only. It runs on Windows 7, 8, and 10 in both 32 and 64-bit formats. So let's dive in and take a closer look at this delectable DAW. Upon opening Cakewalk Sonar Home Studio, we're met with a start page offering options to load recent projects, create a new one, or watch some tutorials. We can also choose any of the templates displayed in the splash screen. We're going to choose the basic template. We're given the option to name it. We can choose our BPM, sample rate, and the path for both the project and any audio files that might be associated with the project. We're just going to leave the default settings for now. Now we see Cakewalk Sonar Home Studio in all its glory. As you can see, it has a typical layout with a channel strip at the left, browser on the right. Most of the action takes place in the center area where there is currently already an empty track ready to go. If we look to the browser on the right, we'll see that the media tab is selected. It currently displays folders for backing tracks, effects, and loops. Let's open the loops folder. Inside there are subfolders for various instrument types. We'll open the drums folder and find the file called 128 refined dash EDM and drag it onto our track. This is a pre-looped file and it will automatically match the tempo. Sonar can do this with any loop you like. Cakewalk calls it groove clip looping. If you grab the right edge of the clip and drag to the right, you can make it repeat for as many bars as you like. Let's click the Browser's Plugins tab to reveal our installed plugins. Sonar Home Studio can host instruments, audio effects, MIDI effects, and rewire. We'll click the Instruments button beneath the tabs. There's not much here excepting the TTS-1 General MIDI Rompler and Rapture Session. None of our third-party plugs are available until we tell Sonar where to find them. For that, we go into Edit, Preferences, and find the VST settings on the left. Clicking that will open a window that allows us to see the VST scan path. We can add the path where we have our plugins. Plugins will automatically be rescanned and show up in the browser. Preferences also provides access to MIDI and audio drivers and devices, allows us to tweak the interface, and otherwise customize our Sonar Home Studio experience. Now, looking into the browser, we can open the Uncategorized folder and find our plugins. Let's drag one into the project. We selected Linplugs Alpha CM. We'll choose the preset called Base Res TEG. If you've got an attached MIDI controller, you should be able to trigger some notes. Alternatively, you can go into the Views menu and call up a virtual keyboard. Let's add an effects plugin to our sound. To do this, we can grab the right edge of the instrument track strip we've just created and pull it to the right until the FX bin comes into view. Now we can drag a plugin into that newly revealed FX bin. Clicking the Audio Effects button in the Plugins browser reveals the plugs. There are a lot. Let's open the Delay folder where we see the Sinitis Delay. We can then drag it into the effects bin we've revealed. As you can see, the Sinitis Delay is packed with parameters to tweak.
Recording in Sonar Home Studio is simple. We do it by clicking the red dot in the track we'd like to record. This arms the track for recording. Now we simply hit the record button in the transport up top. Sonar Home Studio allows us to create groove clips from our MIDI recordings as well. We can do this by selecting the clip and right clicking on it. Then we simply activate groove clip looping. Now we can drag the edges of our newly created groovy MIDI clip to extend it for as long as we like.